Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com. Today I wanted to show you a video outlining just how to download audio files of videos found on tv.jw.org or the JW Broadcast channel as we know it. Now, the way we're going to do this is by using an app called Workflow. You may be familiar with Workflow because we've talked about it quite a bit on uh, AppChasers.com. What Workflow does is it allows you to build processes within the app that carry out certain tasks that you want to repeat. Uh, so basically it's like building a app right inside the Workflow app. Uh, the example that we're going to show you today will go out to uh, tv.jw.org. It will download a video. It will extract the audio from that video and then save that audio uh, right to your iPad or your iPhone. Now here we are on AppChasers.com. We've got this post here that has a number of different workflows that we've already built and you can download right into your workflow app uh, to get started right away. So you don't need to build these yourself, uh, but we've built them for you. The one that we're going to look at is called Download JWTV. So let's show you exactly what that's going to do. If you've already got workflow uh, installed on your iPad, uh, that's great. If you don't, you can download it right here on our site, Workflow, or you can go into the App Store and download it. But we're going to, uh, once we have it on our iPad or our iPhone, uh, we want to just tap on this link here, Download JWTV, and we'll just tap Get Workflow. And it's going to ask us if we want to open this in Workflow, in the app itself. So we'll say Open. All right, so now if we look down at the bottom of all my workflows within the workflow app I've got download JWTV so on the right hand side we've got all of the processes that this workflow is going to carry out on the left hand side are some processes that we might want to add but we're not going to do that right now if you look at our YouTube channel or appchasers.com you'll find we show you how to use the workflow app in more detail but this one's already built so let's just show you exactly what it does here. We'll back out of this. We'll go into Safari. We'll go to tv.jw.org, which is our JW Broadcasting website. And we're going to, uh, for this demonstration, just go to one of our shorter videos like This Morning Worship by Brother Jackson. So I'll tap on that. It's going to open that up. What this is going to do is download the audio from the video. Uh, that might come in handy if you're jogging and you just want to listen to one of the morning worships, uh, any of the videos on JW Broadcast. It might be an entire monthly program that you want to listen to. And you don't need the video, but you just want to save the audio to your iPhone. This is how you do it. So once we're on the page of the video that we want to extract the audio from, uh, there's a download button. We'll tap on that and it's going to bring up the different resolutions or shows us the file sizes, the quality of the video. We don't really care about video quality when we're extracting the audio, so we just want to grab the smallest one, which here is our 240p or 31 megabyte, megabyte download. Instead of tapping on that, we're going to tap and hold. We're going to copy the link and that's where we start with our workflow. So now let's go back over into the Workflow app. Open that up. We've got our Workflow open here. And we're just going to tap on the Play button in the upper part of the screen just to the right. So we'll tap Play. Now once we do that, it's going to ask us if we want to run the Workflow for the first time. We'll say yes. It will only ask you this the first time as a safety precaution. All right, so it got the clipboard that we copied. Now it's downloading the video itself. Once that's done, it's going to copy the video now to the clipboard. It's going to get details, uh, the title of that video, and then it's going to now go through and extract all of that audio from the video. So this is the main part of uh, this workflow. So it's going to take a little bit of time because it's actually looking through that entire video file and extracting all of the audio for that. Now once it's done, 
it's going to take that name of the video that we already grabbed from the file and it's going to name this new audio file the name of the video .mp3 and after it does that it's going to ask us where we would like to open it in on our iPhone or iPad so that's going to uh, give us the opportunity to save it into another app now the app that we recommend doing this in is called Documents by Rito. You may know that we've recommended that app uh, often on AppChasers.com. So once it's done encoding the media, we'll uh, see how it names it and then ask us what app we want to open it in. Okay, so it set the name and now it's opened up our open in menu and it's going to look through all the apps that we have available on our iPad. Now you will have different apps than I do uh, because you have different ones installed on your iPad or iPhone. The one I like to use is called Documents and I've got it right here. It says Import with Documents. So I'm going to tap on that. Now it's going to open the Documents app automatically and it's going to start playing this new mp3 that I've downloaded. Now you can see I've got two of them over here. You'll just have one showing, but I've done this demonstration before. So I've got two saved into documents. But it's playing it. It's you notice that it's titled it as the video. So we don't need to worry about naming our file. And you've got also a nice preview uh, image here that shows just a little bit of a thumbnail artwork for this mp3. We've got our play and pause buttons. We'll pause that and uh, we're going to go back here in Documents and show you that it now resides as a file in our Documents app. So anytime you want to play that, you can just tap on the file and it'll begin playing that audio file. So that's how to use uh, Workflow in order to download audio versions of files on JW.org, JW Broadcast. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you supporting AppChasers.com. Please subscribe so you get more tips like this.